High Pope condemns ex Ohanese scribe against sabotaging Igbo's interest. Newi, the indigenous people of Biafra, High Pope, yesterday warned a sack secretary general of Ohanese Indigo, Mr. Uche Okuku, to desist from further derogatory remarks against it and anything Biafra. The pro Biafran group, in a statement by its coordinator in Igwacha River State, David Njoko, are made available to newsmen by IPOP Media and Publicity Secretary Emma Powerful, warned Okuku to henceforth desist from making derogatory remarks against Biafra and IPOP or be ready to account for its sins on the day of reckoning. IPOP alleged that Okuku has been sabotaging Igbo's and Biafran interests over alleged pecuniary gains and regretted that after being a member of movement for the actualization of sovereign state of Biafra, Masop, and Secretary General of Ohanese Indigo, he, want, he would turn back against Igbo and Biafran interests for personal gains. It said Okuku is too tiny, too irrelevant, even in Iwacha to face Ipo, and we don't want to dignify him by joining issues with him. We only want him to remember that there is always a day of reckoning for every man and his paymasters will disappoint him. Okuku stood as a witness some years back for federal government of Nigeria against his fellow Masop members in the federal high court Abuja. As if that was not enough, Okuku has been shamelessly dishing out press statements against Biafra and Igbo interest in his guest to his quest to please his paymasters in Asorok. IPOP family in Igbocha has observed with utter dismay how a sack of Hanese Secretary General, Mr. Uche Okuku, has made himself a willing tool in the hands of the enemies to sabotage Igbo and Biafra interest because of pecuniary gains. It is rather shameful that somebody who once prided himself as a Masop member and the Secretary General of Aranese Indigo will suddenly make himself a slave to his masters to sabotage his own tribe for a piece of bread. We want to place it on record that Okuku has officially been sacked by the leadership of Oranese Ndigo and should stop talking about anything concerning Oranese Ndigo and IPOP. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, um, Nigerians, um, my fellow Biafrans, I want to urge us not to bother ourselves on the issue of Okuku. To me, Okuku is, is nothing. Is nothing in the Republic of Biafra. Let's not be bothering ourselves on something that we know that cannot even hurt even the least person in, in, in Biafra. Okuku should be should be should be equated should be equated to the least the common Biafran that we have in the southeast. It should not be it should it should not is is wealth or is is um contest should not be considered in the midst of in the midst of um, discussions that that warrant that that can that that warrant the that warrants uh, the the smooth moving of 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 whatever that we go that is going on in uh, in Biafran land. Oku's words should not be put into consideration because I have not seen any of his words that are so catching and moving. So let us not bother ourselves or, or start boring bo ourselves concerning his matters. Okuku has always been a disappointment and a disgrace to the people of Biafra. 
He has always been that. If you listen to him talk, you will see that Okuku, there is a sense of deceit in the in in his in all of his words. Even when he was he was he was still in Biafra, even when he was still the secretary the secretary general in in a, in, in Biafra, Okuku has always been doing something that that has been of so disheartening so disappointing that even the people of Biafra will be calling him to order but he will never want to give a listening ear or keep to advice Okuku is already a disgrace let's leave him to be to be stepped on if he has been bribed that is his own problem Okuku cannot be a thorn on the flesh of the Biafrans. He's too junior. We should not be taking his issue to, to be important. Because as soon as we start taking his issue to be important, I start calling his name here and there, you will see that we start seeing himself to be important and start praising himself. So Nigerian Nigeria should not uh, I'm sorry, um, Biafrans should not take him to be important at all. His name should not even be, be mentioned. If any time he said he says anything about Biafrans, Biafrans should just overlook it and push him aside. Because believe you me, his words cannot be considered in the midst of, of, of prominent Nigerians. His name will not even be mentioned. So what are we putting ourselves on? Let's allow him to exercise his stupidity. Let's allow him to say whatever that comes out of his stupid ideas. Because Biafrans are not interested in him. Biafran, as a republic, has already achieved its goal. Just waiting for a date for it to be pronounced. So whether Okuku like it or not, Biafran is already at the door of actualization. So it is now left to him to decide to join the Biafrans when it is pronounced or not. Okuku, I'll say that I don't know if truly you are an Igbo or a Yoruba because all your ideas centers on the idea of a Yoruba man. Because that is how a Yoruba man speaks. To be frank, that is how they speak. So many things has been happening, yet we have refused to learn our lessons. Yet we have refused to be doing the right thing. See what the Boris administration has been doing to so many Biafrans. Yet, we keep following him, doing what, 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 what will please him. Is that not a big blow on the cheek? Is that not a disgrace to mankind? I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. We, this cannot continue. Enough is enough. Let us brace up. Let us stand up. Let us say no to this intimidation. Brary cannot continue to push us to the war. Biafrans, I will urge that irrespective of this, of what is happening now, irrespective of what is happening now, let us, let the Biafrans not give up to their agitation. Because I can see a slowdown in this agitation because of this COVID-19 issue. Let the, the, let the agitation go on alongside with whatever that is happening now. Yes, I know that it doesn't warrant, it does, and the, 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 the Nigerian government has banned the coming together of people more than 50. But there is still a way of doing it, doing the agitation that 
that that the federal government will still keep calm. Only that I know that they will still complain of the agitation. But we can still do it in the other way around. Mazinam the Kano on his own. I know him better doing it uh, through his live broadcast. So as faithful um, um, Biafrans, let us keep to, uh, the, to, the, to the agitation so that the government will know that yes, Biafran is still on and will soon be actualized. So this is my own humble opinion. What is yours? Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the web buttons.